Hello, in this video, I will explain you about multiplication of matrix. So, multiplication of matrix. So, this is not a EG. Uh, this uh, multiplication of matrix is a slight complicated process, but once you know the rule of um, the multiplication, it will be quite easy for you to multiply any of the two matrix. Okay, so the first rule, first rule is that first rule you should remember car rule. What is uh, this car rule? The meaning of the car rule is that number of uh, column of the f this is C is for column of the first matrix, matrix and R is the number of row for the second matrix. So number of column number of column of first matrix must be equal to number of number of row of second matrix once this condition fulfills then only you can multiply the two matrix so this is known as car rule suppose matrix a is a A B C D E F G H and B is B is a matrix B is a L M N P Q R S T P X Y Z so this is the matrix so this I want to calculate the A cross B so I want to find out the A cross B to multiply the two matrix uh, what is the first condition is car rule what is this car rule is that number of column of the first matrix is equal to the number of number of column for the first matrix should be equal to the number of row to the second column so here you will see that number of column in the first matrix is 4 number of column is means uh, n is 4 m if this is m, m cross n then n equals to 4 and uh, m means number of row in this is m m is equal to also 4 so m and uh, n and m are, are equal 4 so you can multiply you can you can proceed with multiplication this is a valid this will be a valid multiplication so you can multiply a and b suppose a cross b a cross b is a matrix is, which is equal to c so you can find out um, here itself what will be the number of row and what will be the number of column for the matrix c so for the for the matrix c the number of column will be opposite to just opposite to CAR means number of row of the first means RAC remember the rule rule second rule 2 is that RAC means for the matrix C number of row is number of row is of number of row of the first so C is C for the C number of row will be 2 because in in the matrix A the number of row is 2 so in the C resultant matrix the number of row will be 2 and number of column will be how much is the second matrix it is equal to the second matrix number of column so number of column is 3 so the type of matrix C is 2 into 3 means the multiplic multiplied uh, matrix will have number of row is is 2 and uh, number of column is 3 
so uh, is two by three type of matrix so you you can uh, something put it like this two row and three column yeah. the vac um, the element c is still vacant but you know how much how many number of number and how many number of row and how many number of column will be there in the matrix c i am repeating once again to multiply the two matrix the first rule is car means number of column of the first matrix should be equal to the number of row of the second matrix here in the example you see that number of column for the first matrix is 4 1 2 3 4 and number of row in the second matrix is 4 1 2 3 4 so you can multiply otherwise you cannot multiply and b once you multiply once uh, you are able to multiply mat the two matrix then the resultant matrix will have certain number of row and certain number of column it will be decided by the rule 2 that is rac opposite to first rule rac what is the meaning of this number of row of the resultant matrix is same as first matrix so here you you are seeing that in the matrix a number of row is 2 so in the matrix c number of row will be 2 and number of column is same as number of column of b number of column of b is 3 so number of column in the c is also 3 so you understood the type of matrix so here in this example i'm uh, proceeding proceeding with the multiplication you first uh, know that you can multiply and b and you also know that what what will be the number of column and what will be the number of row of the resultant matrix c so here is a vacant places you have to fill the places for the first place what you need to do is a very simple process you just first remove the first row of the first matrix so what is the row of the first matrix a is this this is the first this is the first row okay so it make make it just vertical remove this and make it vertical so uh, and put it at near to b something like a b c d okay just here remove from here and put it here in vertical form a b c d and now cover all the elements for this 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 so for the first element you multiply all this with corresponding this elements and add all so what will be the value of this place it is equal to al plus bp plus cx cs plus dx so this is the first place now now for the second place you have covered this line now you move to this so it is equal to you you need to move this you need to move this uh, to cover all means move it like this so first this first then second this then third this okay so for you have covered this so now multiply each element with the corresponding element here and put it here with the addition so in the second uh, place uh, the value will be am plus bq plus c t plus dy and for the fourth place you move this to at this this place and multiply an plus br plus cp plus d z now so the first you have completed with the first row now in the similar way you have to you have to remove uh, the second row and put it here okay so i'm putting it so i am putting it this i am removing this row and putting it in vertical form e f g h so i am putting here e f g h now multiply now move this column to in this in this way and multiply each element here so multiply this e to l f to p g to s and b to s to x so and add all this so it is equal to e l 
प्लस एफ पी प्लस जी एक्स प्लस बी एक्स सिमिलरली एट दिस प्लस द वैल्यू विल बी ई एम प्लस एफ क्यू प्लस जी टी प्लस एच वाई एंड सिमिलरली एट दिस प्लेस द वैल्यू विल बी ई एन प्लस एफ आर प्लस जी पी प्लस एच जेड सो यू अंडरस्टूड वट इज द मैट्रिक्स वट इज द मल्टीप्लाइड मैट्रिक्स विल बी सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस टू मैट्रिक्स सो टू चेक वेदर यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई दिस टू नंबर टू टू मैट्रिक्स और नॉट यू फर्स्ट चेक बाय कार रूल वट इज यू फर्स्ट चेक बाय मीन्स नंबर ऑफ कॉलम और द फर्स्ट मैट्रिक्स शुड बी इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ रो ऑफ द सेकेंड मैट्रिक्स इज इट इक्वल नंबर ऑफ कॉलम फॉर द फर्स्ट मैट्रिक इज थ्री नंबर ऑफ रो फॉर द सेकेंड मैट्रिक्स इज थ्री सो यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई एंड वट विल विद द रिजल्टेंट मैट्रिक्स नंबर ऑफ कॉलम फॉर द रिजल्टेंट मैट्रिक्स विल बी इट इज इक्वल टू इट विल बी इक्वल टू समथिंग लाइक दिस नंबर ऑफ इट विल बी कैलकुलेटेड बाय अपोजिट टू दिस मीन्स आर एस रूल सो नंबर ऑफ रो फॉर द नंबर ऑफ रो ऑफ द मल्टीप्लाइड मैट्रिक्स विल हैव विल बी इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ रो ऑफ द फर्स्ट सो दिस इज टू नंबर ऑफ कॉलम विल बी थ्री सो नंबर ऑफ रो इज टू एंड नंबर ऑफ कॉलम इज थ्री सो द दिस मैट्रिक्स इज टू बाय टू बाय टू इंटू थ्री टाइप ऑफ मैट्रिक्स सो हेयर यू सी दैट दिस यू वॉन्ट टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस मैट्रिक्स विथ दिस मैट्रिक्स एंड यू ऑल्सो फर्स्ट checked whether you can multiply or not number of row means number of column for the first matrix is equal to the number of row of the second matrix so you can multiply and num number of and the this is the output matrix means multiplied matrix and number of row is the same to the first so number of row will be 2 and number of column will be same as to second matrix so number of column is 3 so this is the output so you just need to fill or fill these places so how you can fill these places you put this the second matrix here you are you just put here this is the same as previous 2621135922 2621135922 and what i have told earlier to multiply you first remove the first row of the first matrix so you need to remove this and make it vertical 1 2 3 so put it here 1 2 3 and uh, now you you take this 1 2 3 and move it in this way and multiply each element so 1 into 2 is equal to 2 plus 2 into 6 is equal to 12 plus 3 into 2 is equal to 6 so this is the first element similarly 1 into 1 is equal to 1 2 into 1 is equal to 2 3 into 3 is equal to 9 Similarly, five one into five is equal to five plus two into nine is equal to eighteen plus three into two six. Similar now, you need to take out the second row of the first matrix. So what is the second row? Four, five, six. So put it here. Four, five, six. Now move similar to first row. So four into two. How much? Eight plus five into six equals thirty. Plus six into two equals twelve. Now for the second column, four into one is equal to four. Plus five into one is equal to five. Plus six into three, eighteen. Now four into five is equal to twenty. Plus five into nine, forty-five. Plus six into two, twelve. So this is the output matrix. If you add all the all the sums, you will find how much. This is c equals to twenty 
ट्वेंटी ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी नाइन फिफ्टी ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड सेवेंटी सेवन हेयर दिस इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी टू प्लस ट्वेल्व प्लस सिक्स वन प्लस टू प्लस नाइन इज ट्वेल्व फाइव एटीन सिक्स इज ट्वेंटी नाइन एट प्लस थर्टी प्लस ट्वेल्व इज फिफ्टी फोर प्लस फाइव प्लस एटीन इज ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी प्लस फोर्टी फाइव प्लस ट्वेल्व इज सेवेंटी सेवन सो द मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ द टू मैट्रिक्स इज दिस सो हेयर सो यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई द मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स एंड दिस मैट्रिक्स इज सी दिस इज this is so the basic rule of what i told you earlier is that first check whether you can multiply or not the second rule is that you calculate how how much uh, row, how, how much uh, will be the row in the output matrix and how much will be the column in the out, output matrix make it vacant put the second matrix here and remove the first row from the first matrix and make it vertical and multiply and move it along the matrix and multiply each element and add this means 4 into 2 plus 5 into 6 and 6 into 6 into 2 okay the yeah so for the first row once you done all all the multiplication by first row then take the second row similarly if there is third row put it the third row here and make it so in this way you can multiply so you see this is the multiplied matrix